so as much as i love these box braids it's time to say goodbye i've had them for four weeks now and i just wanted to make this video for you guys real quick and before we start just bear with me my edges will not be on fleek for this video i'm about to take these braids out and my gel is done but by all means get those edges on fleek sis Okay, so for style number one we're gonna need to tie our hair up and i don't even bother like trying to break my wrist trying to fit my heavy braids through elastics anymore i tie my hair or my braids with a string or a clean shoelace as you guys can see and that just works wonders for me look at that no stress and all that hair tied up and you need a hair tie or a head wrap so for this style, it's quite simple. I basically just folded my scarf into three because my scarf is quite big. And then I just put it on my head and cross it at the back. And I just cross it right back at the front, right in front of my ponytail. And then I just bend over and tie a knot or two, depending on how tight I want it, but I did one knot in the back. And the knot actually gives the ponytail more volume and makes it stand high. So you can wear the style just like this or you can take out one or two braids like I'm doing right now and maybe even add some jewels to it just to switch up the style a little bit. I think it's really cute. so let's get started with style number two you see that i separated my ponytail into two and i'm just wrapping one of the sections around and then i'm going to wrap the other section in the opposite direction now this doesn't have to be neat or anything like that it just you just have to give it that um that bun type of shape Now, depending on the size of your scarf you may not need to like um basically tuck the way i'm you're about to see me tuck but my scarf is pretty big so i kind of had to twist and you know find spots to tuck those ends in but if you get a smaller one you should be fine Now you guys are probably about to think, girl, why do you keep playing with these two braids in the front of your head for? But it's just to show you that you guys don't need to have these two braids in the front. You can just tuck everything back. I just prefer to have at least one or two braids in the front. I think it just looks better that way. All right, so style number three. This one is probably the easiest one out of all of the styles I'm gonna show you guys today. I basically just folded my scarf in two. I'm putting it on top of my head and I'm just gonna tie one or two knots in the back depending on how tight I want it. Now, if you guys are gonna do this style, um, use a shorter scarf so that you don't have the long end pieces kind of hanging down your back. Personally, I don't mind them, but if you don't like them because they can get annoying, then use a shorter scarf. And that's pretty much it. If you want to make the style a little bit cuter, <laughs> you know the drill by now. Take out one or two pieces of hair and boom, there you go. Quick, easy style. So if you don't have a shorter scarf and your scarf is long like mine, but you don't like the long pieces, well, here's what you can do. Basically just take those two pieces twist them and wrap them over so i took one end wrapped it over or twisted it and i'm tucking it on the other side and i'm just gonna take that other end piece do the same exact thing just twist 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 bring it over and tuck it under boom once again with my shoelace <laughs> i'm basically gonna tie my hair the same way i tied my hair in the first style but i'm doing a low ponytail instead of a high one now just like we did before i'm just gonna take my hair twist it and then wrap it around but i'm not separating it into you probably should separate it into because you would get a tighter bun but i'm just too lazy 
So I'm just putting my head tie over my head and I didn't fold it at all. I'm just gonna go ahead and crisscross it at the back right underneath the bun so that it's nice and tight. And if I had a smaller head wrap, I'd be able to kind of just wrap it over and do one knot and be done. But since my head wrap is huge, I kind of have to twist and tuck and try to play around with it until I find something that looks good. So if you want to do this style, honestly, I would recommend that you use a smaller head wrap so you don't have to worry so much about the end pieces and your style will look a lot neater. But since mine is just huge, I got to just work with what I got. And as usual, I take out one braid to make it look cute. All right, so lastly, style number six, I got my hair down and I'm separating it into sections. Now for this style, you might need somebody to help you, give you a hand, but I'm basically taking one section and wrapping it behind the other one all the way around, kind of like what, how they wrap your hair when you're doing a silk press, only with braids. And then I'm taking the other side and wrapping it in the other direction and that'll just hold on the hair that I wrapped in the direction before that, if that makes sense. I'm holding it. I'm putting my head tie on, wrapping it from the back to the front. I had some braids that were kind of like hanging out in the front that I was trying to tuck. So you can see me having some technical difficulties here. Bear with me. So once I got a hang of it, I crisscrossed the front and then you're gonna see me wrap those two ends around each other twist and start wrapping now you guys can see that on the left side or on my right side um the head tie wasn't forward enough but just bear with me guys i was recording at midnight trying to get this video out for you guys so yeah but just pull and fix and make sure that it looks or that it's to your liking and that's it for my six head wrap styles i really hope you liked it if you did please like comment and subscribe and i hope to see you in my next one peace